what's up? Um, so, thought maybe I'd make a section. <coughs> Excuse me. On my channel where I just, every once in a while, have, uh, I don't know, mental dump <laughs> into the virtual space and uh, leave some thoughts hanging around outside, lingering around for other people to experience and then maybe share their own. And I'm usually just kind of wandering around in these virtual worlds doing things that ordinarily I would never do or would never have the opportunity to do. Right now I'm in Grand Theft Auto 5. If you don't know it, you've probably been living under a rock or that you're over the age of like 70 or something. Anyway, I hope you all can hear me. Um, I'm just using a regular old headset uh, while I'm playing this and I really don't feel like shouting, so yeah. As usual, I've had sleep in strange hours and I'm a little bit out of it. But there's a reason I'm standing in front of the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. And I was kind of driving past it in the game earlier, and I stopped, and I was like, you know, it reminds me of a moment I had in the uh, grocery store the other day with my mom. And we were going by the magazine rack when we were buying stuff, and there's a picture of, uh, I can't remember who it was, and so, you know, some famous person anyway. And I think it was a fitness magazine, and she was wearing like a bathing suit bottom, and uh, I don't know, like a, a tied up sweatshirt or a bikini top or something. I can't remember what it was. Dress for the beach, anyway. <clears throat> and, and I'm guessing the idea, and I suppose in the case of the fitness magazine, it was sort of a point, was to show off how in shape this woman was. And I didn't really think anything of it. You know, I don't really sort of pay much attention to magazines and mag in the grocery store checkout aisle. But my mom was like, my mom was like 70-something, so I mean, yeah, she's uh, definitely a different generation and different patterns of thought, and she grew up kind of having to free herself from the yoke of the strict Roman Catholic, uh, French-Canadian sort of expectations. Um, so it, it provoked a reaction with her, and she she's, she's looks at me, she's like, what do you think of that? She's like, why, why does she have to be half-naked? And I'm like, well... I said, in any other magazine, I'd be like, I don't know, you know, honestly. I mean, yeah, people like to look at other attractive people. That's, you know, there is uh, kind of a basic human mating urge that is part of our makeup. I mean, it's, it's not in any sense unnatural. I mean, if without it, we wouldn't have a species that continued on. I mean, we would just go extinct. Um, so, you know, there's got to be some kind of urge to procreate to, to do the snoo snoo and then make babies but anyway this magazine was a fitness magazine I was like well mom it's a fitness magazine right like it's about being in shape and, and and I guess it's kind of a double standard of monetizing uh, you know um, kind of kind of human form uh, in, in a way and I was like well mom I said I don't know really I can't answer that I said but I said take a look at the magazine right above it and uh, again, I can't remember what, what it was, some kind of men's fitness sort of thing, and, you know, same idea as the women's magazine below it, but for men. And there's a guy in the cover of that, and he's in a Speedo, and that's it, you know, he's all rippled up and looking like a million bucks, and, you know, I'm pretty sure any dude, gay, straight, both, otherwise, doesn't matter, would like to look like that, because, you know, generally people who look like that are in pretty considerably good shape, you feel good when you're in good shape, you know, people are attracted to that. There's a certain natural aspect that uh, I think in, in, in a healthy person, they are attracted to someone who is healthy, healthy in mind, healthy in body, you know. Um, you want a good, healthy, sane person who's who, who cares enough about themselves and understands enough about how to care for themselves to maintain their own health, you know. it's It's those are, are good qualities uh, everyone should maintain in their own selves and look for in others. Um, but to take that to mean only a certain way of appearing, that's when it starts to become a bit of an illness, a bit of sickness, you know, uh, it becomes too myopic, too narrow. Um, so you know, it's, it should be, you know, addressed, I guess. I, I don't know. A lot of people should look at themselves and, and, and be able to accept the fact that, you know, like, like for my own sake, you know, um, I like to jokingly say I'm a vegetarian. Uh, I like women. Uh, I don't know. 
And just like anybody who's had to try and explain being gay to someone, I don't feel I, I, they shouldn't have to. No, I don't feel the need to explain to someone like, hey, you know, I, I like women. I'm I'm a straight dude. Like, and and nobody gives me a hard time about that. So I, I I've never personally had to face that whole dilemma. I can only imagine how terrible it would be. But the point of the matter is, is we all have these urges inside of us, and with an excess of this sort of... Sometimes feminism can be taken too far. There's nothing wrong with feminism. I consider myself a feminist. But sometimes it can have ill effects on people like... Well, I'll use myself as an example. That way I suppose nobody can get pissed off at me. And if I look like a jackass, well, then... Yeah, I fucked up, I guess. But I think it's perfectly okay that I find women attractive. Um, you know, I, I think it's only natural that if I see a woman who I think is attractive, and sometimes that's what other people think is attractive, sometimes it's not, you know, like, uh, sometimes I, I get nothing out of people that are generally considered to be beautiful, famous people. I'm just like, meh, you know, whatever. Uh, sometimes I agree, sometimes I don't. But the point I'm making is I, I like what I like, and, and I'm not a, I don't feel I have to change my desires for anyone else. And I don't think anyone should have to change themselves just to fit somebody else's perspective of beauty or, or health or whatever. Uh, if you are healthy, then generally you will fit within a certain slice of, of kind of uh, human body patterns. I mean, you know, you, that's how generally doctors can tell if you're healthy, you fall within a certain set of parameters that are, you know, of the overall norm. So. Uh, yeah, do I say to someone, hey, if you're content being a very large person or a very thin person or, or the kind of person who spends, you know, 20 hours a week, 30 hours a week at the gym, goes there, start of the day, end of the day, does his no life but doing that, but looks like, you know, a superhero and, and, and lift 600 pounds over their head, well, shit, I don't know if it makes them happy, I guess. I, that, you know, that's cool. But... They're narrowing their own experience of reality. They, 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 don't, they don't need to do that to be just a healthy person. I'm not saying that they're unhealthy physically. But what if they spent one day of the weekend, I don't know, going to a museum, camping in the woods instead of just spending all day doing this whole fitness thing? Like, of course, I'm talking about extremes here, not people who go to the gym because, you know, the way our society's set up, you've got to get exercise somewhere other than just surviving. Back in the day, you plowed fields, you, you had to walk 30 miles to go buy toilet paper, I don't know, or <laughs> you get the idea, right? Like, people had much more physical lives. It wasn't uh, it wasn't a thing, really, unless you were super rich and had servants and slaves and stuff, and, and that's just, just you know, a conversation we don't need to have, I think, that we, like, think we've moved beyond all that, and no one should be forced to do anything. Uh, you know, uh, that causes their suffering or their imprisonment. Uh, that's a different conversation. I guess I don't want to get too far off topic. And considering the fact that I was going to try and give some sort of, I don't know, diatribe about the fact that there's boobies in this game and, 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 and the role of women in video games and stuff in general, I really sort of got sidetracked just sort of giving a basis. Oh, shut up, really? Like, okay, there's there's a surreal thing right there I'd like to talk about. I mean, seriously? Like, there's, there's, there's all in fun in recreating uh, another kind of virtual world, but I'm trying to have to t talk, you know, to whoever the fuck is listening to this. It might be nobody I don't know. Uh, I'm going to call this, this whole playlist thing Random Squirrels, by the way, if you're wondering. Uh, just because, well, whatever. It's random uh, squirrels. Uh, you know, um, stuff, monkeys, unicorns, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess I'll continue this some other time. I'm probably getting close to the whole 15 minute thing. You've probably stopped paying attention a long time ago. You're, you're just taking a shit, listening to my drone of my voice in the living room coming from the TV or something. I, I don't know. You left your phone on just because you're trying to support me and you feel guilty about it. But for whatever reason, you know, if you tuned in this long and you don't think I'm completely mad? Well, yeah, thanks, you know. Uh, I'll make some more of these and keep babbling on about shit. And if there's any other crazy people out there who want to jump into GTA and uh, have crazy babblings together, I, I wouldn't mind, you know, as long as you're, you just want to kind of open and 
logical about it. I don't want any yellers and screamers or haters or you know, no assholes, right? Like, there's enough bullshit in this world. We don't need more assholes making more bullshit. So, uh, well, I guess uh, see you later. Yeah, peace, love, and all that stuff. Bye. Hey, so I, I realized I didn't finish my whole random squirrel thought about the uh, magazine rack uh, story, and uh, my mom asking me about you know what I thought about the nearly naked woman on the cover, and I was like, well, mom, like, what do you think about the nearly naked man on the cover of that other magazine? I was like, he's more naked than that woman was, actually, and, and you know, he could be considered to be just as provocative an image. Why is the half-naked man not a problem? Now, I'm not, you know, criticizing or, or saying that she was wrong and wondering why, why magazine felt it needed this woman on the cover you know, nearly naked to, to sell the fact that she was healthy I mean uh, if she was wearing a, I don't know a tight-fitting jogging suit I guess she could have been just as healthy in appearance I mean you can tell when someone's in shape it's, it's not a you know, difficult thing to tell and she stopped to think for a while she's like well I don't know she's like it's just something about it that generally it was For, it was seen as or perceived as as the, as the woman was, was forced into a situation or taken advantage of somehow by the fact that she was appearing on this magazine dressed the way she was. And, and I was like, well, Mom, I said, in a way, you're kind of denigrating or, or, or lessening that woman's own personality by naturally assuming as much. Because in a way, you're, you're not saying, you're saying that this woman, you know, allowed herself or didn't have the strength or the intelligence to, to make her own decisions, to decide, you know, I'm okay with, with uh, being proud of, of the work I put into my body and, and how it looks because of, of all the exercise I've been doing or all the, the healthy food I've been eating or, or whatever, um, or, or, or some of the, you know, the healthier food trends, I suppose, of people, uh, well, not I suppose, uh, they're healthy, but of people appearing uh, more naturally uh, on, on the covers of things uh, and not wearing so much, like, you know, the, the, the doves kind of trend, although, you know, if you go to look at it, ultimately it is a marketing trend, but of natural beauty, you know, uh, women coming in different shapes and sizes, and I was like, you know, uh, my mom was saying that, I was like, mom, I agree. You know, uh, they should have the freedom to come in a variety of sizes and not be made fun of because, I don't know, they have freckles or a redhead or they're curvier than somebody else or shorter than somebody else or whatever. Like, you, you know, you, you kind of got to deal with the body and the genetics you're dealt when you're born. I mean, uh, it's, I mean maybe kind of a point of life is to get beyond this physical shell that, that we wander around in, you know, like... I, I don't feel bad about myself if I'm forced to drive around in some clunky old car because that's that's the situation I'm in and, and you know do what you got to do. I mean, right now I don't have a car. My, my car is the bus. You know, like people call it the loser limo. I'm just like, well, I guess. But man, I save a lot of money not having a car. You know, uh, it saves me a lot of time, stress. You know, I'm not always freaking out about it. I'm worried that I'm not going to have the bills to pay it. And, you know, so it, it's, it's kind of freeing. I mean, I don't need it. I, I live in a city that has a bus system, so, I, you know, I, I don't have to walk anywhere. Walking doesn't kill you anyway. It's, it's good for you. Um, uh, and, and right now, actually, you know, you're going to see why I call this random squirrels, because I've totally lost my point now. I, I guess what I was saying is, as a guy now, it's it's I'm starting to see things, I guess, in a better perspective because I'm I'm starting to have people, you know, in certain ways, uh, or I guess the image of men in certain ways is is been vilified somewhat by this whole uh, the the excess feminism, you know. I mean, some some guys are actually nice guys, but, you know, they're 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 just good normal people. They have the same feelings and, and, and desires to be accepted for who they are as, as women do. And I think that the people who might be tempted to take feminism too far should should see the people that are in the men that, you know, are in the, are in the general population that 
that that aren't the villains that that see women as as, as every bit the equal of any other sentient living being in the universe. I mean, there's um, and in a way, sometimes things like well, um, uh, virtual worlds like like Grand Theft Auto and, and any of these these virtual spaces can it can either be as unhealthy as the real world or as or as healthy uh, as as we choose to make the real world uh, for ourselves. Um, in one respect, it allows people to uh, escape uh, perhaps a form that, that they feel uncomfortable in or, or unhappy in or allows them to do things that, that you know gives them a sense of accomplishment and stuff. And then that's a whole other conversation. But in a way, it could be um, signs of the human race in, in general kind of moving away from identifying with just the, the form that they inhabit physically, you know, their, their biological container, I guess, uh, you know, uh, the method with which they interact with, you know, what we call, quote unquote, the real world. Um, they're free now to make their own bodies and, 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 to, and to, to create their own images and and enact scenarios or, or, or live through scenarios in a reality where there are no consequences really for screwing up other than, you know, you might have to do it over again. Uh, so it's it's it can, in that way it can be a brilliant opportunity, but unfortunately, for the most part, people use the whole opportunity to just be assholes. You know, I mean, if you're playing a game where you, the whole idea is you're pretending to go to war, and the whole point is to kill everybody, or you're in this, and then the whole point is to be a better criminal. And well, all right, that's you know you accept that when you play it. You know, people are going to try and kill you. They're going to beat you up for your money. I mean, like it's you're you're playing to be the best criminal you can be. You know, what do you expect? But again, that, that that doesn't mean that you have to behave like you hate the person. You know, you can do your very best to blow their head off virtually, and you know, and, and 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 win win the game for your team or whatever the hell it is you're trying to accomplish, whether it's Battlefield or Grand Theft Auto or or whatever. And it doesn't have doesn't have to be about hatred. It's just competition. You know, like good healthy competition in anything, sports. Uh, you know, like, business, uh, you know, uh, art even, uh, it, you know, it, it, it can help people do whatever it is they do better, so it, it, it should exist, but once again, um, I've gotten sidetracked by a random squirrel, but I just wanted to wrap up what I was saying about the whole feminism thing and ex excessive feminism and, you know, how you know, people should maybe realize that, uh, it shouldn't go too far the other way and become anti-masculinism. Like, you know, it's okay to be a dude. Like, it's it's all right to be a manly man. It's okay to be a non-manly man, you know, if you know what I mean. I'm, I'm not you know, trying to say it's, you know what I mean. Like, some guys are feminine, like, you know, even straight dudes are feminine. And they get given a hard time too. Like, oh, well, you don't act a certain way, so therefore you're a lesser being of some kind. Like, that's, that's just fucking stupid. You know, and nobody should be made to feel bad for the way they behave as long as they, they, they kind of approach life and everyone in it with kindness and respect. Like, give other people a chance to be who they want to be and try and do it without stepping on too many toes. Like, no big deal. Like, Christ Almighty, I'm not religious in any way, and I don't think anybody has to think a certain way to just be a good person. So it's, Everybody just needs to settle the fuck down. I mean, you know, chill out. Look, see, nice night, full moon, lakes down there, crickets, wind blowing on the branches. You know, well, this is a good time for me to say, hey, you know, all you uh, GTA video game detractors out there who probably haven't made it this far into a video anyway. It's not always about killing people and blowing shit up. Sometimes you can have some pretty good deep thoughts when you're just wandering around and talking to yourself. And, I don't know. I'm trying to do some sort of random squirrel fucking thing. Anyway, uh, I'm going to shut up for good this time. Uh, I'll go do some more thinking or uh, I don't know. I might blow something up or, or rob a corner store. Virtually, not really. For God's sakes, don't take this out of context. I, I am, in a way, kind of doing this in character. And part of the reason is because it doesn't really matter what I really look like or where I'm from or what color my skin is or what sex I happen to be or anything like that. Uh, you know, 
accept me, I shall accept you, and uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I guess, uh, I guess I'll just do an epic moon pose and stare thoughtfully into the sky. Have a fine one, everyone, and uh...